then I set those plans down. I said, Sister Lisa, just imagine. And I started laying it out. You know what I do? I create this excitement. Right. You women ever been there? You're getting in your new home. And there's an excitement. And then you say, this is going to be your living room. We're going to have this. And we're going to have this. And we're going to have this. And then off here we're going to. And you lay it all out. And there's excitement to get to it. Well, brother, there shouldn't be one of you that can take a message called the future home of the heavenly bride. You know what that is? That's God laying out the plans of your future home. There ought to be an excitement in your heart. Oh, I wish I had more time because when he finally describes that city, you know what he said? Come and see the lamb's wife. And did you know he called that city spiritually you? Because the same one that was designed that city designed his church. The same one that was building that city was building a bride. So let me say it like this. While he's building a city over there, he's building somebody who's going to occupy it here. I go to prepare a place for you that where I am there you may be also. When he left here, he went to work on a city there while he's working on a bride here. I'm getting a home ready there, but I'm getting a bride here. Them down there, they're in bondage, but I've got a free bride. I got a free city. It ain't cost them nothing. I'm paying for it. I'm building it, and I'm going to take them to it. It's going to be all by my grace. Somebody give God praise. We're going to inherit that city and we're going to get it by grace. Stand with me if you would. Come on and give God praise. A lot of musicians are coming. Ain't God good this morning? Come on and give him praise. Talk about grace, grace, glory to God. Amazing grace. 